Chicken Festival. I'm joined by Ryan with New Life Church. Ryan, you guys have been here for the last six years. What, what is bringing you back to the festival? Well, we're located just outside of town, and so one of the reasons why we love coming out here is uh, it gets us a chance to get in the community. Uh, we see some of our church people come by, but mostly just to pass out uh, some free water. Uh, people tend to get thirsty. Normally the sun's out, it's nice and you know, sunny, obviously we're not getting that today. We got a little bit of rain, but people still like to drink um, and it gives us a chance for us just to uh, connect. And, and as a church, that's what we want to be. We want to be one of those churches in the community that is actually in the community, not just a, you know, sitting off on the side trying to look pretty. So uh, that's why we're out here every single year, just to, uh, to get to know people and, and give them something to drink. Cause you know, everybody, nobody likes to walk around thirsty. Well, and you can't have fried chicken without washing it down and nothing better than a nice cold bottle of water. Ryan, where can we find New Life Church? Well, you can find us online, newlifecva.com. It's the easiest place to find us. But uh, we're also just out, just outside of town, uh, off of 15. You can't miss us. It's a big barn-looking building with a with a sign that uh, lets you know where you're at. All right. Thanks so much, Ryan, and thanks for keeping everybody hydrated. All right. Thank you. First one is an Indiana custard made pie from a hundred year old recipe that was actually brought back about a week ago from the secret place in Indiana. I'm told it is a hundred year old. So judges, you may begin. Alright, we see Charles, our judge down there, eyeing every inch of his piece of pie. Our judges take it very, very seriously in this custard competition. <laughs> well, I'm excited. It's pie. How can you not be excited? It's like it's a, it's a yummy pie. For a hundred year old recipe, it doesn't look a day over 99. These guys are serious up here. You should see them. They're poking at them. They're trying to dig into them. They haven't picked them up yet by their hand. Although Kara has said pick them up by their hand. There we go, right over here. It's the best way to eat a piece of pie. It's the only way to eat the pie. This one is the second one in the custard category. This one is a pumpkin apple butter custard with apple butter whipped cream and nutmeg. 
Judges, if you want to leave, we'll take your place. I, I want my expandable pants for today, so if you decide that you do not want to test any more of the pies, I will gladly take them. Oh, that was kind of That's terrible. All right, they, these judges are taking this pie very, very seriously. They have brows for them. You know. <laughs> All right, so we're giving these judges a moment to enjoy, to savor, to choose the best appearance, crust, creativity, and overall taste. So it looks like you may have made it with your vote on this particular one. Where are you coming to us from? Uh, Harrisonburg, Virginia. And so how long were you on the wait list to be a high contest judge? One minute. I wasn't on it that long. I just know Kate. She got me in. <laughs> Alright, so she is the secret backdoor entry as a judge. Alright. Alright, are we are we ready for the next round? Uh, I, I am told that these pies contain zero calories for today only and that you can eat as much of the spice as you would like, Charles. All right, the next round is coming out. And just because I am the act and I'm here all week, but I said wait list, it's not W-E-I-G-H-T list. It was the wait list, W-A-I-T. Take the mic away. Take the mic away. <laughs> F1. Okay, this is going to be fruit one. This is a pear and strawberry pie with a sugar cookie crust with strawberries picked from the garden. So these are just fresh strawberries. Enjoy. And guys, if you can see, there actually is a strawberry on the plate. You are taking my job. I'm stealing that paper. Oh, you take points off of that. Our judges are tasting this third pie, our first fruit entry that is made with fresh pears and strawberries straight from the garden. Now we have our second judge. Where do you come to us from? Right here in Clarksville. So we have a local judge who is going to be very specific and particular on these local fresh strawberries that are cut in a fan. Looks so pretty on the plate. So what do you think so far? So far so good. I like how they're chasing the pears on the plate. And what do you think, Charles? That he's getting every ounce of wine and fruit in every bite. We would like to thank all of our pie bakers. He does take not just the pie, it takes a lot of love to make these very special desserts and, and to put it all out there to be in the pie function. So, all right, all right, Claire, are we ready for the second round? All right, we have an F2 coming out right now. It is an apple pie with a cinnamon roll crust, and it is absolutely delicious. The pie, the apples actually are in a florette design, so appearance is absolutely stunning on some of these pie slices. This is the <laughs> Alright, so we're going to talk to our third judge, and where do you come to the state of Orange, Virginia. Alright, so it's a long drive. <laughs> and what do you think so far? I, you cannot go wrong. I have not, not that I ever get to taste the fries because they don't let me taste them, but uh, they all look absolutely delicious. But I guarantee my calorie intake 
is much lower than yours right now. I thought the calories didn't count. They don't count today. But either way, mine are much lower. Okay, we're going to do the calories again. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah.